so cold we are on like the 70 wet floor it's freezing trying to take pictures so we i'm gonna go take pictures with danny cold Me and my girls went to one of our favorite sushi spots in LA, Crave Sushi in Sherman Oaks. And if you know me, I love a good romance movie and The Notebook is one of them ones. Welcome back to my channel. It has been too long since I posted the vlog. So I'm just in the bathroom this morning. I, when I don't wear makeup on my face and I go out and I want a little something, I'll put like concealer under my eyes and like on my dark spots. So I did that yesterday when I went out to dinner and I didn't take it off before I went to sleep. So I just got done washing my face. Okay, so I look super tired always i literally just woke up but i washed my face 
and I tried some new products so I'm gonna show you guys I really like how it's been making my face look so I just want to show you guys this is the Derma Logica daily micro foliant and I had just gotten this off of Amazon I had seen it all over TikTok I seen a bunch of girls use it so it's basically just like a powder exfoliate and you just dump some into your hand get it wet and then it foams up into like um, a little paste consistency and then you just exfoliate your face it said on the description that there was papaya enzyme incorporated into this so i thought that it would smell like a little fruity this does not smell the best like there's actually like not really a smell but the fact that it doesn't smell like fresh and whatever kind of bothers me but it's whatever because it makes my skin feel smooth so i got this on amazon oh also i finally had made an amazon storefront so you guys can shop my favorite products ever and lately i've been on amazon a lot so um i'm gonna link everything this is one of the products that i'll be able to link for you guys another product i got was the Anyway, so this is the clear pore oil eliminating astringent now i got this because it kind of reminds me if you guys are familiar with sea breeze it's like an astringent as well and it just really cleans your face up without over drying so they didn't have it at target so i got this one now this is more for acne breakouts but that's fine because as you can see my forehead has been breaking out crazy it's that time of the month for me so every time it's almost that time for me i break out literally i break out so i was like i need something to dry these pimples out because this one was huge i got pimple patches i took care of it so the swelling on this one went down tremendously but it was it was ridiculous so yeah i also washed my hair yesterday yesterday was wash day my hair is getting so long i'm so happy because it's getting so long i've been working so hard to get my hair healthy and here it's not about the length it's about how healthy your hair is so i really had to get it healthy before i could worry about getting it long <clears throat> so i got another product i've just been on amazon like i'm telling you tiktok is crazy because it just makes me want to go on amazon so this is a hair scrubber so you just like scrub your head while you're shampooing now, when I got this, I thought that these spikes were going to be hard because I like to scratch my head. Like, I need to feel like I'm getting everything off my scalp. But no, they're like, you can literally bend they're soft. So I was a little disappointed with that, but it still gets the job done. It still feels amazing. So, and this was like seven bucks on Amazon. So um, I'm going to link my storefront so that you guys can shop all these products. So I will include all these products that I had just talked about but the only good thing from being or about to get my period is that my boobs they like swell up crazy literally crazy like they're so painful and they get like three times the average size and then when it's over they go back down but like i love how they are right now they are perfect and i just wish they could stay like this all the time but they can't so that's annoying so i'm gonna go into my room i'm gonna do it from this angle because i look crazy so these are the pimple patches i used if you guys watch my race my recent favorite products video you would have seen these in there absolutely love them because i get like 20 million pimples on my forehead and these just save my life every time every time Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. i'll wear these in public i'll wear these anywhere i i don't care i don't really think i need any more honestly i just need one today yesterday i had three on my face all right so we're done with that so yeah i just popped my light up because i just want to talk a little bit look at this dog so it's saturday i'm i did a little bit of cleaning yesterday so i can chill right now 
I just want to like kind of update you guys about life and my work and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know if you, well, you guys should know if you've been following me, but my occupation here in LA, um, I do do modeling. So that is what I've been focused on ever since I've been out here. So that's just been my main focus. But as my goals and wants and needs get more serious, especially with modeling, I'm finding things are getting a little bit frustrating. With that being said, Currently, I'm looking for a modeling agency to represent me. I've never had one in my life. I've moved to LA five years ago. So all those five years, I've been solo. Every gig, every shoot, every video, every anything. I've booked myself. I got myself. I negotiate my own rates. And, you know, everything is how I like it, which is great. Because I get a say for how I want everything done in my life, in my modeling life. But... <clears throat> It's not with that being said it's not as easy to just get a modeling agency so last summer i did digitals i did headshots full body side pre-force everything and i sent it to about 21 different agencies and the response i got was just it was not what i had expected and with that being said that kind of changed my perspective on shit because it wasn't what i was expecting so i want a modeling agency because i'm just to the point where i want more serious work i think the work that i'm doing now is pretty serious and it's just to the point where i can't and i don't want to do it on my own anymore i just i really don't like i want people to book you know gigs for me and rather me booking everything myself um i personally want a team that I could work with that's, you know, like my team. You know, I just want to take my career, my modern career to the next level, the next step. And I really think that that includes a, get that out of your mouth. He has a sock in his mouth. Um, but I really think that includes a modeling agency. So yeah, hopefully this year we'll see what happens. It's already June, we're already six months into the year. We have six months left. That's crazy to me, breezy. So that is where I'm at. Um, it is just super frustrating when you want to do more and you can see yourself doing more, but you just aren't there yet. You know, you don't have the team, you don't have the resources, whatever. And that's where I'm at right now. So that's fine. But yeah, so like um, I have management on my Instagram page. So as far as Instagram collaborations and things like that go, um, I have management with that. But it's to the point where like i don't want that i don't want to work with an agency i don't want i just want my own team i want my own like i need a manager i don't need like an agent on instagram i need like a manager you know what i'm saying so it's just a little annoying when you work with a company like agencies are fine um especially on instagram but now as brand collaborations everything is a little bit different especially since after the pandemic so brand collaborations are a little bit different, but in my career, I just want somebody to represent me. I just want the sole focus to be on me. And I don't think that's selfish. I think it's needed. I think it's necessary to elevate and advance anything in your life. And one thing I've learned is I work really good alone. Like when I don't have distractions or if I'm not in a group, like I can really get things done. So that's why I just want a, a team that's just about me because I thrive alone. I can do anything alone. So if I had a team behind me, I really think that I could do anything. But when you are working with agencies, for example, who are dealing with you and 10 other women influencers who live in your city, it gets kind of like, it gets to be a lot. And I don't have a problem with it, but like I said, I need the focus to kind of solely on be on me because when you are an agency and you're dealing with so many women, it can get hard to or easy to mix things up or forget a certain person or focus more on whatever this person has going on rather than this. You know, it just gets to be a lot. It's just like a public defender. Like, would you rather hire a public defender who's dealing with your case and 30 other people's cases or would you rather hire a lawyer and pay that money so that they can you know focuses on you fights just for you they're not worried about anybody else because they're not getting paid by anybody else they're just worried about you so that's kind of what i want right now you know i just want my sole focus 
to be on me and my career just so I can advance because I think that's very important so yeah like with that being said um we will see where the rest of this year takes me I had a lot of goals in my mind that I want to accomplish and I want to see things change by the end of the year so we shall see we shall see but it feels good to just sit here and like talk about you know certain things that frustrate me because they they are on my mind we shall see oh my i have these spots on my face because i tried to nair my face and i exfoliated before i did hair remover it burned the shit out of me it was so bad so this is why this side is way worse but i'm just gonna give it a couple days and i'm never exfoliating before doing hair removal take my advice please that hurts so bad oh my lashes i got my lashes done at my hair palace on melrose i absolutely love them i think i'm gonna go for like a more curled look like i want my lashes more curled and longer so but these are so bomb so if you're in LA, that's where you need to go to get your lashes done. I also got a new, new under eye product. But the bags that I have under my eyes are, they're not cute. And actually I was on TikTok and I found this woman who had gotten an under eye procedure and I got all her bags gone, her dark circles and she said that the procedure i don't know exactly what it's called it starts with the b i have to go back and look but um she named the doctor's name she got it done in new york she named the price so i am getting that procedure done also i have been thinking a little bit about getting lip injections now don't come for me because let me justify myself real quick i am half white that should be without like i should be done talking after that but anyways i'm half white and i just feel like as the days progress my fucking excuse my friend my lips just get so much smaller like i get like snapchat memories and i love snapchat because it has memories from like 2014 on there i'm never letting that go anyway so i just get memories and i'll just see like pictures of myself from like five six years ago and my shirts were fuller than they are now i just feel like they are depleting every single day and I'm tired of it. They only look good when I'm putting makeup on. And I'm just tired of it. So I'm going to try lip injections. I don't know when, but um, I finally came to terms like, yes, I'm doing it. So I was like contemplating back and forth like, do you really? Like, are you kidding? But I'm just going to try it. I tried Botox. I actually loved Botox. I would do it again. But yeah, I'm going to do... It's just going to be the lips and the oops that are going to be done. So yeah. But anyway, let me show you guys um, this new, and I actually put it in the fridge. I was told that it works better when you put it in the fridge. So I threw the box out. Um, damn, I'm pissed. Anyways, this is the L'Oreal Revitalift 2.5 Hyaluronic Acid Plus Caffeine. So my best friend, he had went to Target and he had purchased this and we are like obsessed with skincare. So if we get a new product that we like, We'll call each other and be like, you need to go get this. So he got this. He said it works amazing. He saw it on TikTok. I went to one Target the other day. And they were completely sold out of everything L'Oreal. I was pissed. So then I had to go to another Target. And they had it. And I'm really excited to try this. It's nice and cold. And it has like three little balls in it. It's like a wand. So you put it under your eyes. I'm really excited to try this. So I'm going to try that later um yeah and then i'm gonna let you guys know how it works because i hate them i hate them i hate them aren't dark circles genetic or something like that that's what i heard because i hate them what are you doing do back here this dog i'm going to church with my mom tomorrow and i like to do my own weaves like i don't have one in right now because like i was saying i don't have a weave in right now because it was wash day yesterday and 
yeah anyways so i like to do my own weaves just because like i feel like i do my weaves the best like i don't know i haven't found anyone in la who lays them flat like i had a hairdresser back in york she was my girl she used to do my hair so flat so amazing i'll go to her every month just to get my hair done and i can't find that out here like i don't know so whenever i'm with my mom and i can braid hair i can cornrow and all that shit but she can braid like horizontally i can't do that yet so whenever i'm with her i'll just have her braid me up and then i'll just literally sew in my tracks myself and i just love the way i do my own hair so um i'm going to church with her tomorrow so i'm probably gonna have her braid me up after before i go home that way when i get home tomorrow i can just sew my hair right in because it is nice and washed so yeah that is the goal for tomorrow <laughs> it looks like my shoes don't fit it's because they don't <laughs> they are way too big for me but i wear them occasionally when i work out Thank you. workout i use i use c4 i know it's not the best but i don't use it every day and this is the only one that really like gets me in that zone this is like the only pre-workout i can really actually feel i feel the tingling it makes me so focused so this is what i use um i get this kind off of amazon because the ones in the gym are carbonated and i cannot drink carbonated anything before i work out because that equals disaster so i get these off amazon i get like the 18 pack 15 pack whatever it is 12 pack and yeah so i just put them in the fridge and it's bomb and this gym bag this is actually a soccer bag but it is huge oh these are new things i got as well i got these off amazon i'm gonna link these in my storefront because the gym i go to you have to trade in an item to get um bar I don't know what they're called clamps and i said y'all are smoking dick so no i had to buy my own 
Everything is pink and purple in my bag. I freaking love it. But this gym bag I got at the Goodwill. It's actually a soccer bag, but I found it. And it was crazy because right before I had walked in, I was like, I really need a gym bag. I hope I find one. And it was in there. And it's literally well, tampons and a mask. And it just has so much space. And it's just literally perfect. And it was like $9. Another mask and my keys. So, yeah, I love this bag. So I just got done working out. <laughs> So today is literally my content day. Um, I have a million and one things to do. I wanted to really like wake up early. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning, so I got a lot done so far. I just wanted to just have a good start on everything. So I got up and I just wanted to get ready. So I had you know stuff to post throughout the week so if you guys have not seen my try on haul for fashion nova i had posted that about three days ago that was the most watched video in a short the shortest amount of time that i posted anything on my channel we've got um 1k views in three days that's a that's a big deal for me i know it's like a thousand views on youtube ain't shit really but to for me that is a huge deal because it usually takes me like not even two months to get a thousand views. It takes me so long. Um, my last video that I uploaded almost two months ago, it's at 800 views and that was two months ago. So yeah, this is this, this is great. I was so surprised at the reaction that that try on haul got. So if you have, look at him. If you have not um, gotten a chance to check that out, make sure you check that out now. Hey, I'm talking, I'm talking. Okay, so I was thinking, he, he thinks it's all about him. Look at him. So, I was thinking about doing a get ready with me. If you guys would be interested in that. Showing you hair, makeup, details of hair, makeup, outfit, accessories, stuff like that. I really wanted to do a long, like, this dog. Get ready with me video. Just because I feel like those... Hey! Breezy! So I was thinking about that because my try on haul got like such a good reaction. So I was like, why don't I um, try get ready with me? I also want to do get ready with me just because I feel like. Breezy, can you like chill? So I want to do more get ready with me just because I feel like they're fun. It's something to do. And I have a lot of men on my page. So I want to do things that like get more women interactive um, I have a lot of male followers and they're really, I didn't ask for any of them. So I, yeah, like I said, I just want to kind of do things that will get um, women more involved and stuff like that. Women friendly videos. I'm just excited to bring you guys more content. I'm really excited to do more get readies with me. I did a little mini one that I'm going to post on TikTok either today or tomorrow. But that was like super fun. Like just showing you guys the accessories and the process of like my outfit and everything like that was super fun so yeah i definitely want to incorporate those a little bit more if you guys want to see anything specific from me please let me know in the comments below i'm always down to hear new ideas and kind of get your your guys's opinion on what you guys want to see from me as i was saying earlier in this vlog i do my own hair my mom usually braids me up and then i'll sew everything in so i sewed this This dog, like, he has no consideration for me or what I'm doing. Anyways, so I did my hair myself. 
I sewed it in myself. Now, when I did my first weave, I'm like, this is so much easier than I thought. I could have done this forever. So, yeah. So, I've just been like, this is like my fifth weave that I've done myself. And I just love the results. Like, amazing. I do the leave out, the side leave out, everything like that. I'm really irritated <laughs> by him. So, yeah, I do my own hair to sum it up. I'm going to show you guys the curler that I use. I really want to get the C3 curler. I went to um, purchase it online, and it was completely sold out, of course. It's nothing special. It's just really, like, I like the barrel curlers like that. Like, yeah, so this is what it looks like. So this is the end of my vlog, you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. It means more than you know, honestly. So I had mentioned that I was going to link my Amazon storefront in my bio. Please do not forget to check that out. I have linked all my current favorite products in there. So if you're curious about um, certain things that I've posted, um, things like that, make sure you check out my Amazon storefront. Also, if you cannot find the link to my storefront um i have it linked in my highlights under amazon so if you go on my instagram page you'll be able to find it and click the link and it will take you directly to my storefront so yeah please do not forget to like comment and subscribe i have a lot of ideas coming i haven't executed them yet but they're in the works so that's a great start i'm going to come to you guys with more videos and so with that being said i will see you guys in the next video